Okay, what's up? Um, I felt like making this video because um, a lot of the videos on this subject are pretty old. And uh, this is a 2021 video. And uh, I really wanted to get into playing some old DOS games. But I've, you know, I've not touched DOS in decades, so... Um, I had to kind of get re-familiar with it. And a lot of people download this program, which is on the App Store. If we go to the App Store right now, and you just think, hey, I want to play DOS games. So you type in DOS games, and you get uh, iDOS 2. Um, once again, I'm on the latest OS for iPad. Everything's completely up to date. This is the latest iPad, like the latest budget one. So a lot of people buy this app. They open it up. They get a DOS prompt, and then they're like, uh, what do I do? So I'm going to go over just a few uh, things to be familiar with with DOS. Um, first off, the first thing I always do when I'm when it puts me in a, uh, a folder that is predetermined for DOS, um, type DIR, press enter, and it shows me all my folders. Now, beforehand, what you can actually do is you can actually go to different websites online, like uh, download, um, let's see, download DOS games, and you can just go to something like my abandonware. That's actually not the one I went to. Where did I go? DOS Games Archive. Like I wanted to play Hugo's House of Horrors. Type it in. Let's go down here and there's my games. Hugo's House of Horrors. I used to play this so much as a kid, and it's super easy. You just you can uh, click right there and just start downloading the game. You don't even have to go to a computer and do any kind of crazy stuff. Um, I don't want to re-download it, so I'm just going to close that, but it would download. You'd see, like, you know, downloading up there. And then you go to Files on your iPad. And here's where a lot of my stuff downloaded, um, like I'm in Downloads. And... Like, it's... You'll find it. You know, it's around here. Like, Hugo 2, there they are, Hugo 3 and stuff. You'll want to, like, click those... Uh, unzip them you'll see the folder unzipped you want to like hold down on the folder that you open you actually go to a real folder and then you'll hit move and then uh, idos should be here and you'll and if apps is already uh, selected which it was in this case you would just hit copy and move that folder into there so that you have um, So you have, on my iPad, you should have iDOS already be a folder if you've uh, installed the app. If it's not there, create these folders. I, I create an apps folder because I want to keep all my games in uh, an easy to find folder. So they're all there. So then we go to the program. And as I said, let's just start from scratch so I can show you. Once you get in here, hello. What's going on now? Okay. Um, so once you're in here, the, the, the game or the app already has the IDOS folder kind of like as the C drives, but you just hit DIR to see what's there. There's that apps folder. You type CD space apps to go into that folder. And now, I hit DIR, type DIR again, I can see all my folders. 
I know they're folders because they're called DIRs. And I want to play Hugo, Hugo's House of Horrors. So I'll type CD space H-U-G-O is the name of the folder. And now I'm in that folder. Type DIR again. Let's see what we got here. Um, well, this is kind of the unfortunate thing. I can't scroll down to see where the EXE folder is, but you could just go back into files on your iPad and scroll through that and see where the execute file is because that's what you want to type to execute, you know, to start the game. But I already know it's HHH, so I'm going to type that execute file name, press enter, and it starts the game and it just runs perfectly. And this is such a classic game. And you might see that I'm using a keyboard for my iPad, which makes this a breeze. It's even got a mouse pad. And games that support mouse uh, work with it. It's something I recommend. And then it's great. And then my keyboard sadly doesn't have an escape key, um, but you could kind of usually quit in the same way you'd quit in the old DOS days. So you'd usually just access quit from the game menu. Um, some of these keyboards, um, they also don't have function keys. And sometimes you need to hit F5 or F7 in old DOS games to save or load a game. And I'll show you one that I did. Um, if you want to go back to the root directory, you would type C, uh, CD slash backslash. That takes you right back to the beginning. So you uh, go to apps again. Uh, keep forgetting. Like, let's look at The Adventures of Willie Beamish. Another fun game. Uh, start the game because I know the execute file is Willie. So on this, on this game, for instance, uh, you, on an old uh, computer, you would hit F7, function seven, to load your game. It's not really here, so with Mac, the command key is what I use. Command seven. So that acts as F7. I can restore my game. And then my mouse pad is working. And if you don't want to quit properly, you could just quit the app like any app. So there you go. Um, in a nutshell, that's how to use the the uh, DOS box program or the IDOS as it's called. So uh, there you go. If you have any uh, questions, maybe you can leave a comment and uh, I'll try to answer. See you later, bye.